What's up, Print Fam? Welcome back to another week here at the print shop. Today was a good day. Jacob was able to get a bunch of stuff done from his side. He's kind of over the small format and the apparel division. He was able to run some embroidery, got some vests, a couple of shirts done. He pressed some shirts as well, and then he ran some stuff on the logo jet and got that knocked out. Taylor, on the other hand, worked on getting pens. I think just pens this morning. And then we worked on doing some fire pits that are going out to a customer. I was able to write some more automation for the sales team. So we've got a script written to have them request samples that we can make internally that they can then take out and prospect. So it will follow the samples that they want, so whether they want pens or tumblers or some other thing that we decorate in-house. They can request that sample. We can produce the sample and then follow it along. We have been having major cash flow issues. So we kind of just bit the bullet today and told people that we will no longer do reimbursement. So if you spend money on your own credit card because we have maxed ours for whatever reason and you decide to put it on your own card, tough luck. Thanks for paying for it. It'll be part of your commission to reimburse yourself, but we won't pay for it. If you're having money issues and need to order something and our card is maxed, then we got to figure something out. Along with that, we have set a hard rule that if the order is less than $10,000, we are collecting 100% of the job up front. If it's over $10,000, we collect 50% on order, 50% on delivery. Hopefully that will fix our cash flow issues because right now we are major struggling with the just the growth that's happening in the business. I committed to do my least favorite thing in the world to do which is cut vinyl. I hate cutting it out. I hate kiss cutting. I hate weeding and I hate applying transfer tape. It just makes me cringe. The reason why is because that's how I started my business with a vinyl cutter and it was 28 inches and I did a ton of it and now I absolutely hate it. It's kind of like when you're a kid and you like only get to eat mac and cheese or something and then when you grow up you hate mac and cheese. That's how I feel about cut vinyl. But well, we did get it done. We got it for the customer. They're going to a trade show tomorrow. Today was a little bit hectic. We got some foam prints done. We did golf balls that were a rush order. We charge 50% for same day production on things when it is not planned. And this was completely not planned. We've had the PO from the customer for about a week. And they called us today and said, where is the golf balls? And we said, we emailed you five days ago waiting for the proof approval. And with this specific one, it's a $65 order. So I don't pressure them. If it gets to a week and my email automatically nudges me to say, hey, you haven't got a response from this, then I'll respond. In this case, they didn't respond yet and it was over a weekend. And then they're like, well, we have to have them today. Rush fees. So don't be afraid to charge them. If people don't pay them, then just don't accept the work. It's not worth the headache, the struggle, the time to do it. As always, we pressed more shirts today. Taylor ran pens and tumblers. We also did more fire pits. We got those all knocked out and uh, it's just been a good day. I got a bunch of stuff to go do on the computer. Got to write some more automations. Hopefully we can get all that wrapped up this week to just get our sales team humming. The sales team is definitely humming, but it is more so with the pain of not being able to buy anything right now. We did about $135,000 in sales this month and we have no money. Credit card is maxed. We were able to pay a little bit off on the card today, so we'll be able to use it again tomorrow. But I need them to feel this pain point and I need them to understand why we need to collect money. So we are enforcing our rule now when we have been kind of loose before and we're just, we have to. I wasn't able to ship anything today because couldn't pay for it. Tomorrow, we'll be able to do it again, hopefully get caught back up, as well as I'm going to an event, which will be a lot of fun. I'm trying to use up some yellow ink in the Colorado printer because it says it's going to expire soon. Luckily, I have a customer that has yellow in their logo, and they have an unlimited sticker budget. I printed a about 45 feet of a roll. I'll probably print a full roll tomorrow just to try to get the yellow out of the printer so I can put a new cartridge in. Jacob also pressed t-shirts today. We got a bunch of those t-shirts folded. 
that need to be delivered and some shipped tomorrow. Along with that, we got a power bank printed on the logo jet. We ended up using the same jig that we made, I think last video, I don't remember when we made it, it might be in this video, but we made a jig for some plates that we were printing. We ended up using that same jig because it fit within it. We just sized the artwork. So that was four and a half by six and a half. We just sized the artboard that and then put the power bank in the bottom right hand corner. And it worked great. Jacob got those started today. He'll finish them tomorrow. With that on-site event, we ended up finally calibrating the second 60 watt CO2 laser that we have. We are taking it on site so that we can engrave tumblers right then on the spot and give them away. I didn't want to take the primary production machine and we don't have the 180 watt set up yet, partially because we haven't run power, partially because we don't have any money. You see the trend here, the cash flow issue. I highly recommend switching to upfront payments. It will make a big difference in your business. I was doing it before I got the salespeople. I was loose about the rule and I regret it. But good things happening, good changes. It's a new month now. Let's hit it strong. This is the first month in a few that I haven't gone upward. I have actually gone down. So last month we did about 200. This month we did about 135. It's still good. It's nothing to be ashamed of, but I want that upward momentum. I hate weeding and kiss cutting so bad that these numbers, even though they should be kiss cut and transfer taped, are being through cut because that's how bad I hate it. And it's for my brother and they're going on trailers so he can deal with it. And it saves him money. So he's always happy about that. When you're on site doing events, it's nice to be able to have partners like firesprint.com to help manage and run orders for you while you're out doing other stuff. Firesprint.com is a trade only wholesale printer that specializes in banners, signs, stickers, and so much more. So make sure you check them out. You can save 10% off your first order with the coupon code down in the description. Thanks firesprint.com for sponsoring this episode. Another late night here at the print shop. I'm printing more default stickers to try to get the yellow out. Jacob and Taylor are both here running embroidery machines to try to get a job done that was messed up because of process errors. I will leave it at that. They're pulling hard work together and getting it done so that we can get it delivered to the customer that has their event that starts in a few minutes. We'll get it there a little bit late. They have most of their order, but we'll be able to get the rest of it here shortly. The golf tournament was really good. We did about 80 tumblers on site and then we are working on other crap today. I came back and had about 15 emails I had to get through and lots more to get done. But overall, the golf tournament should turn into a good prospecting opportunity for us. We were collecting names and email addresses so that we could send them a video that we took of their product while it was being engraved. And then we can use that as an opportunity to talk with them, chat with them, and see what more we can do. I'm not sure what else to say. It's been crazy, hectic, and I'm really tired and sweaty. So I have a report that's automated that says what we do or what we did for the day. And I thought I would just go over that because I wasn't really there. But we finished and shipped some polos. We finished more stuff for the golf tournament which is tomorrow of the second day, but none of us will be there. They have their own displays. We finished some USB power cords that we ran on the fiber laser. We did, my son's trying to get in the video. We did some additional shirts that we shipped and more shirts that we shipped. But those were actually done yesterday, I think, but we didn't have money to ship stuff. Well, I got into work this morning not sure what happened, but the take-up reel didn't work. It gave up about halfway. Today felt like a hectic day, but I also feel like I didn't get anything done. Jacob was able to get a bunch of bags embroidered today. He ended up coming in late because of how late he stayed yesterday to complete the hats. Taylor worked on a bunch of pen orders, ran one tumbler order, I think, maybe? No. We ran out of stock, so we had to figure that out. But we did get that figured out. He's going to run that Monday. 
Had the issue with the printer this morning. Also printed a banner for my daughter for an event that she's doing today and worked on just a bunch of admin stuff. Specifically trying to work on kind of the, the pipeline and the automations behind the pipeline so that when you move an opportunity from one stage to another, what does that look like? What information is needed? That way, particularly with proposals, we can put the link to the proposal in there and then it can do like the initial email. Hey, so-and-so, here's your proposal for your job. And then it can wait three days. Did I get a response? Did I not get a response? Assign tasks, different things like that. But I did get a bunch of that done, but I still, again, I feel like I got nothing done all at the same time. Next week will hopefully be a little less crazy. There's no event next week, but my cohort Colt, one of my sales guys, told me he sold another event. Luckily, it's in the same town. Won't be as bad, but I got to figure out a better way to do that because moving the CO2 laser was questionable and it moved around. I got to figure out a better way to mount and kind of structure the head. Um, specifically, it, it came loose and it, it needs to be straight and level and fixed in order to not cause problems. So I got to figure out if there's a better way, maybe I build a custom tower, maybe like, I don't know that answer, but that's something I need to look at if we're going to do a lot more on-site events. I looked the little koala black fiber laser. I asked them if they had a CO2 like that because it's literally just two bolts. So there's no movement around. They don't have anything like that for this machine. I'll figure something out. Thanks, Print Fam. Thanks for being here. And we'll see you next week.